Imagine losing your ability to speak any word but one. This was the case of one of the patients of Paul Broca. Louis Victor Labane lost his ability to speak at age 30 after epileptic episodes. Labane spent the rest of his life in the hospital because his ability to produce speech was so damaged that he could only say one word, Tan. Tan became his nickname in the hospital and the name most people today know him by. While Labarnet obviously couldn't communicate verbally, he could still somewhat effectively communicate through hand gestures, answering accurately questions like how much time did he spend in the hospital. Eventually, Labarnet passed away. A day later, Broca performed an autopsy on the body. Well, he found several things wrong in the left hemisphere of the brain. One specific curious thing he found was volume loss affecting the posterior inferior part of the frontal lobe. Or in other words, damage to an area of the brain that will be eventually named after Broca, Broca's area. This part of the brain is heavily involved in the production of language and it is separate from another language area of the brain that is related to comprehending it. So if mainly or only Broca's area is damaged and the other is preserved like in the case of Labarnet, only production of language will be harmed. The condition Labarnet suffered from was eventually named Broca's aphasia or expressive aphasia. And while extreme cases like Labarnet's do exist, most cases are a lot less severe, with patients still being able to speak many types of words, but are limited to shorter and sometimes grammatically broken sentences, while also speaking in a quite laborious way and having a lot of pauses between words or sentences. If you want to learn a lot more about the different types of aphasia through an overanalysis of an Oblivion NPC, then feel free to check out the video below.